Hey guys, and welcome to my big baby buys video. This is about the 15th time I've started filming this. Baby brain is a real thing, guys. I am driving myself bananas, like seriously. So, anyway, this video has been very much requested. I've done a couple of hauls already of baby stuff where I have talked about clothes I bought and things like that, but I've had so many requests from you guys and lots of questions and recommendations and suggestions and stuff of the bigger purchases. Obviously, having a baby is massively expensive and the stuff that you need to buy is really expensive. Not that you need everything, but, you know, being a first-time mum, I feel like there's, like, a lot of things that I wanted to get and also, you know, we plan to have more kids as well, so um, I wanted to like really invest in the first kind of time that I do this and then not have to do it for future kids if that makes sense so um it's been an expensive few months in terms of baby shopping I'm now almost eight months pregnant so I have pretty much everything um and I thought I would do this video and show you guys the big kind of baby buys that I've decided to go for in this pregnancy and also a disclaimer at the beginning um some of the stuff I've been given, I've been so lucky, like, I've, ever since I've announced my pregnancy, I've had lots of brands reach out to me and kind of offer me things, a lot of which I've said yes to, a lot of which I've also said no to, because I think it's really important, like, especially because you only get to do this the, for the first time once, it's like, a lot of the time, like, I've done a lot of research into buggies or whatever, so I kind of know which ones I wanted and which, like, things that I wanted to get. So sometimes that crossed over with being offered stuff, which is awesome. Um, and then other things I bought myself because it's just the ones that I wanted to buy because, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I feel like this is a waffly introduction. Let's get into it. So first of all, the biggest purchase that you generally make with a baby is the pushchair, buggy, pram, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually ended up going for the Cybex Priam travel system, which you can see the um, car seat behind me here. Um, I went for this one because I just really loved the design. I feel like um, it looks really beautiful. It feels really beautiful and solid. I liked the way it folded and you can um, like almost wheel it like you would a suitcase behind you. It's not super, super lightweight. I actually do also have a lightweight um, push chair, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, on recommendation from my sister but I just really really loved it and I decided to go for it in this gorgeous um, I'm just gonna get the car seat for you to show um, I decided to go for it in this like really really gorgeous dark red she is a winter baby she's not gonna be a Christmas baby unless she comes very early um, but I just love red and I thought it's unisex so it'll work for future babies as well not that I would really get like a pink pram I don't it's just not really my style but I really like red um, so I'll insert some cutaways of that because obviously in this video I am filming on my vlog camera so I'm slightly more wide angle but you're not going to be able to see like a full buggy so um, I'm going to most of the things that I show you today are going to be through cutaways so um, that's the buggy that I decided to go for I'm really happy with it so far obviously I can't like review it because the baby's not here yet so like I can't tell you like what it's actually like to use but um, in terms of like functionality it seems really easy to use and the reason why I loved the whole travel system is that I absolutely love this um, car seat um, for a few different reasons obviously the first one like I absolutely love the way it looks and I know that doesn't like matter with a car seat it's all about safety and comfort for the baby but doesn't it look cute it looks like a little cocoon this is the Cybex Cloud Q I believe they do a few different car seats but this is their kind of top spec one it's got really amazing reviews and kind of specifications safety wise which that's like the number one kind of thing that we were looking for but it also looks really lovely and I love the fact that it actually lies flat as well if you guys have kids which I presume you either probably will have kids or are having a kid if you're watching this uh, maybe not sometimes but some of you might not know but you um with newborn babies they have to not sit in car or they can't sit in car seats for a huge amount of time so Basically, what I loved about this one is that you press the button and it actually goes into lie flat mode, which I'm so gonna mess up whilst it's on my lap, there we go. Um, yeah, so it goes into like a really cozy, comfy lie flat position so the baby can stay in here. When you're out of the car, you can't lie flat in the car, or the baby can't lie flat in the car, um, but if the baby's asleep and you wanna take it out of the car and take it into someone's house or whatever, um, you can just like adjust the seat and then it can stay in there for a bit longer and sleep. Um, which I thought was a really lovely addition. I know a couple of companies do that now, um, but I really just fell in love with the car seat. So that kind of like 
made the decision for me with the Cybex Priam and the Cloud Q. I just thought it was really kind of useful. I know in terms of like the babies that either my friends or my family have had, it's something that is super annoying when you have a sleeping baby in a car seat and you take it in someone's house and you're like, oh, I now need to try and get the baby out of the car seat without waking it up. Um, kind of annoying. So um, I really, really liked that feature. I thought it was really good. Um, and I love the colour as well. I really like red. So that is my kind of travel system. I do also have another car seat. I've got two car seats. Me and Mike obviously have our own car. Well, not obviously, but we do have our own cars. Um, so I think the red car seat is probably going to live in Mike's car because he tends to do more kind of of the longer journeys. And if we're going to kind of visit people kind of things, we'll usually, we'll not always be together, but we'll usually go in Mike's car. Whereas if I take my car, it tends to be for more kind of short little journeys either to like the post office or supermarket things like that and so for my car i've actually got the doona and i was so lucky i got sent this i've wanted this way before i was pregnant like way before i even thought i wanted to be pregnant um i saw it on my friend naomi or pearls and poodles blog and it's honestly the cutest little thing it's a car seat that turns into a buggy so it's got wheels attached to it you press a button the wheels pop out and it turns into a tiny little pram obviously um as I mentioned before, they don't suggest that you leave babies in a car seat for longer than a couple of hours max. Um, but if you're just going five minutes down the road, probably to the supermarket, and you don't want to wake your baby up if it's asleep in the car seat, again, perfect. I just thought it was really nifty. You can just use it as a normal car seat and leave it in the car and take your baby and put it in a pram if you want. Um, also, this is obviously like part of the um, travel system with the pram, so that fits on top of my pram too. So I've got two different options there. I'm so excited for the Duna. I've heard loads and loads of good reviews online and from people I know who've got them. And yeah, they're just really kind of like clever little design for kind of being on the go with your baby and short journeys and things like that. So I've also got that. And then in terms of a lightweight buggy, uh, one that was recommended by my sister and another thing that we were really lucky to get sent was the um, Baby Jogger City Mini. I actually got the GT version, so it's got more um, like heavy duty wheels, but this is basically like a really lightweight kind of foldable buggy. I would say umbrella buggy, but it's not really because it doesn't fold like an umbrella like the McLaren ones do. Um, but it's basically super lightweight and really, really easy to manoeuvre. My sister had one of these for her second baby and she absolutely loved it. Once they get a bit bigger, this is the thing, because I was kind of like, oh, I've already got a pram, I don't, like, I don't need one. My sister was like, you honestly will use this so much as well as your pram because when you travel, when you go, if you're like out and about in the city, once she's over kind of six months um, and way up to probably like four, um, we actually took this out the other day with my nephew, Arthur, in it, who is nearly five, um, because we went to the Grand Designs show um, at the NEC, and I was with, my brother stayed over the night before, this is a really long-winded story, my brother stayed over the night before anyway, and we were going to go, and we are like, oh, he's probably going to get tired legs, so let's take this, and he sat in it fine, and fitted in it, and, um, you know, so it goes all the way up to, like, much older than a kind of regular buggy would, it's just really easy, like, push chair. Um, so I'm really excited about that because that came very, very highly recommended from my sister. In terms of like sleeping stuff, we didn't get a whole nursery set like a lot of people do. We really didn't need a changing table or a uh, baby wardrobe because there's lots of fitted um, cupboards in the nursery. And if you guys have been following my pregnancy updates over on my vlog channel, you'll have seen that um, kind of process. And I'm also going to do a nursery tour on here as well when the nursery is all finished and when the baby is kind of due to arrive. So um, keep your eyes open for that if you want to see it. But basically we didn't need a full kind of set of nursery furniture. We just needed a cot. Um, and we've actually ended up, we have three kind of sleeping things for the baby. We have a cot, a bedside crib that she's going to be in until she's about six months, um, and then a Moses basket, which is mainly going to be for downstairs as well. So the cot we decided to go for is the Stocke, um Sleepy Mini. And I'm going to insert a cutaway of this. It looks tiny, and she probably won't even sleep in it when it's this small because she's going to be in our room. But I wanted to assemble it this small because it looks just so adorable. Um, but it does extend into like a bigger and a bigger cot, and then it turns into a single bed. Um, so it kind of takes your baby like all the way up until they're in like a full on bed. So um, it is expensive, but in terms of the design, I really liked it. It's really well made, and again, online a lot of people seem to absolutely love it and as a brand in general stockade came like way way high up i've also got um their high chair which i'll talk about in a minute so um yeah that's the her main like cot and then we've also got a snooze pod 
um, for our bedside crib, which I decided to go for. I'd heard a lot of people rave about these and also the Next To Me um, ones by Chico, but I personally prefer the design of these ones. Um, I think they look really sleek and they are like the perfect little kind of bedside crib the first six months. Kind of gives you that like feeling of being able to co-sleep with your baby, but she's not actually gonna be in our bed. It's kind of like separate and it also has like the zip up side. So you can have the side down if you want, but you can have the side up if you want to be able to see her. It has like a mesh panel in the side. And I know a lot of people, especially a lot of YouTube mums have these and really rave about them. So um, you can use these kind of, they're basically supposed to be instead of a Moses basket. So you can like take the top off and kind of carry it around the house. They're not the lightest things ever. Um, so I also decided to go for a MOBA Moses basket, which is kind of like a modern version of a classic Moses basket. Um, it's basically made out of silicone plastic. So it's like totally wipeable. It's got holes in the side, so it's breathable. Um, and the what I really loved about it is just, it seemed just really, really practical for me. And I'm gonna keep this downstairs um, in our house for kind of like daytime naps and stuff. So keep her out of the way of the dogs and things like that when she's asleep. <laughs> This is all in theory, because I realise my baby's not here yet and I don't know exactly what, how it's going to go down, but in theory this is what I'm thinking. Um, so the sheets all just pop off and they're elasticated. I'll show you this in the cutaway. You basically just like pull them up, pull them off and you can just throw them in the washer. So it's all wipeable, um, breathable. It just seemed very, very like user friendly and just like a really good idea. And they're actually not too expensive. I think they're about £100. So... Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that as well. Oh, in terms of a monitor, I don't actually have my monitor yet, but I have ordered it. Um, I decided to go for the Tommy Tippy um, video and um, like movement sensor monitor. Um, I know a couple of companies do this, and they can be quite controversial in terms of the um, movement sensors, because I know a lot of people say that they make you more paranoid or not. So I kind of, I did a lot of research into this and like whether or not they were good. Um, in terms of like the set you have to like make sure the wires are all like out of the crib, not in the crib, all of that kind of stuff. So it's like, they're a little bit, I, I don't know, they're kind of a love-hate thing. Angel Care also make them, but the, real, I, the reason I didn't go for the Angel Care one, which I think have more like better reviews, not necessarily better reviews, but they're more well known for making them, but their range is not as far. And the baby's bedroom is like the furthest point away in the house from our kitchen. So I wanted to get one with the maximum range that I could find. And the Tommy Tippy one had a longer range, so it seemed really good. And it had really good reviews as well. So um, yeah, that's the monitor that I went for. So it's a video monitor. It's like video sound and kind of breathing monitor. And obviously you only use that for the first however many months until your baby's kind of a little bit more... <laughs> I don't know how you'd put it, like, a little bit more sturdy, and you're not worried they're just gonna stop breathing. Um, yeah, like I said, they're definitely a love-hate thing. One of my friends that's just had a baby had a breathing monitor and absolutely loved it, and then other people are like, oh no, it would just make me so paranoid. For me, from when I babysat babies, and from using monitors, I always sit there and I'm staring at them, like, looking for movement in their chest. Like, I'm like, every time I look at the monitor, I just, like, stare and see if I can see their chest move. And I feel like with a breathing monitor, as long as it doesn't go off all the time, and you kind of adjust the sensitivity anyway, um, according to the reviews, it's, it, it's good for that. So, fingers crossed, that will be a good choice. That's everything for sleep. In terms of play... I've got this massive thing next to me. This is the play mat that I decided to go for. And this is not necessarily, like as big a baby buy as the others, because it's not quite as expensive, but it was pretty pricey for a play mat. Um, this is the one I decided to go for. It's the Skip Hop Vibrant Village Smart Lights Activity Gym. <laughs> long name, guys. And it won't take you guys very long to see why I chose this. It's got sausage dogs on it. I really love the design of this. It's really bright. There's loads of contrast. There's sausage dogs. Um, it's got um, lights and sound as well, which was another thing that I don't know if you'll be able to see. Can you see the lights going? <laughs> it's pretty bright in here, so you probably won't. Um, and it's something that my sister-in-law was like, make sure you get, if you buy like a, a floor gym, she was like, get the ones with the sounds and the lights because it keeps them so much more entertained for long. Anyway, so that's what I decided to go for. Super cute, I love it. Um, and then what else have I got to chat about? Oh, um, the baby chair. Again, I was super, super lucky to be sent this one from Nuna. Um, and I was actually really excited because it's one that I had my eye on anyway, and it's the Nuna Leaf. I really love the design of this, and I have to say, I've actually used this quite a lot already with my little niece that was born about five months ago, maybe nearly six months ago now. Um, and she absolutely loves it, and it's not like a traditional baby bouncer that goes like up and down, it goes side to side, and you can get 
the electric plug-in, which I decided to buy, and it only arrived last week, so I haven't used the electric plug-in yet, because it is quite annoying to have to keep kind of swinging it and keep moving it. It goes for about a minute or so on its own, but um, yeah, so I bought the electric plug-in for that as well, and I really, like, so far, my niece seems to love it, so I'm hoping that my baby loves it as well. Um, it looks really nice, which I know should not be the main priority, but it's good if it can look good as well. I've also got a baby carrier, and I feel like baby carriers are a massive love-hate thing. I personally think I'll use it quite a lot because um, of where we live, and dog walking especially, like, we can't really push a buggy where we walk our dogs, it's like quite rural, so I think I'll do quite a lot of baby wearing, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but the one that I decided to go for was again from Cybex, and it's Cybex Yemma, partly because it was like half wrap, half carrier, and I quite like that concept, like I liked the idea of having a wrap, but I feel like watching the videos, actually logistically using a wrap seems like a little bit of a faff and quite hard to do, um, so I really like this, and it's a really cool design, like, I mean, again going for the looks, but again, with Cybex, I just think that their, their design is just totally on point. It's definitely not the cheapest one on the market, it's pretty expensive, um, but I really, really liked it. And again, I've used that with my niece and she seems to love it. So that's the carrier that I've got. And then um, a couple more things, the baby bag. You guys have seen this before because this was in my birthday haul in July. How long ago was that now? Uh, this is my baby bag. I actually got this as a birthday gift from my Mother-in-law, this is from Gem and B, and I think it's their Jemima bag. I love this. It's so gorgeous. It looks like a really gorgeous design handbag. Again, this was, like, these are not cheap, so I was really lucky to get given one. Um, but this is, like, obviously, like, baby bags, sometimes quite a big purchase as well. That's the one I've got. And then last but not least, it won't get used for a while, but the high chair. We got the stocky high chair as well. The trip trap. Um, which I'm probably just going to insert a picture of because ours is still in the box and we don't want to take it out of the box because we're not going to use it for a few months until she's, or well, five months or whatever, until she's setting up. This came, again, really, really highly recommended from my brother and his wife because they've had one um, with their first baby, who's now only five, and they love it. He still uses it. Now their new baby's using it and they just say it's absolutely amazing at kind of like growing and developing with your baby and it looks really cool as well. I actually went, I think I went for the... I can't remember if it's white or grey, I ordered it so long ago. So my battery just died right as I was just about to finish filming the video. This video is cursed, I swear, it is cursed. Um, but yeah, that's it for my big baby buys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you, like for a lot of you, baby videos aren't relevant, but a lot of you are loving them. So I hope that you guys are liking my schedule at the moment, which is kind of two videos a month baby stuff and then usually like six or seven beauty videos a month on this channel so I hope you guys are liking that anyway because it seems like a little bit for everybody I don't know let me know what you think and I will speak to you very soon <laughs> I feel like I'm so flustered and now really out of breath from running up the stairs the joys of growing a baby I'll see you guys very soon <laughs> bye